Shalom, I'm gonna start off saying, Kaalayim La, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Chakodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit, let thou must not cabal as crimes as Allah, which means give double honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach with real, and Shalom Rahal Bachiyash as Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. Come on, you and listen. This is the brother I not from the Jim and Smith's camp. The lesson will be on just continue fearing the Lord, you know. Don't get too comfortable, man. You know, it's just the same. I've been meditating on that with my uh, my parents, you know. She always told me don't get too comfortable with your job, you know. Because most people get too comfortable with their job and they you know, getting fired, man. And I just look at that spiritually, you know, because you never know when the most I can take you out. You know, you've seen a lot of brothers, you know, I'm new to the faith, you know, I'm still, you know, learning and growing the truth, you know, and a lot of brothers talk about how brothers came into the thing and fell out, went back to the world, you know, you know, so, hey, we shouldn't get too comfortable, man, don't don't get too comfortable with your job, man, you know, Hey, we, this is not our rest, man. We still got a job to do, man. The most I can we, uh, we place you with the quickness, man. You know? That's a fearful thing, man. So you got to continue fearing and doing the work. You know? Don't never get too comfortable with your job, man. You know? Hey, so with them, I'm going to get into it, man. And this is the real image. According to the Bible, man. His real name is Yahweh Shah. And I know Jesus Christ, man. You know? You know? His true name is Yahweh Shah. I mean, he is the deliverer. He is... uh. Uh, salvation, man. You know, Matthew one twenty one, man. You know, he should save his people. We're going to get into a little will and be edified to the letter. It's the book of First Corinthians eleven. I'm gonna start thirty one. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. You know, Scripture says, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You know, thirty two. But when we are judged, we are chastening of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. You know. That we should not be condemned with the world, man. Because this world about to be judged, man. And you don't want to be part of that, man. What comes to this earth is death, destruction, evil, man. That's what comes to the world, man. So, hey, Scripture say in the book of Sawak 2 and 1, you, if you come to sell me, prepare yourself for temptation. Hebrews 12 and 6, man. You know, rejoice, man. You know, you got to endure, man. You know, you got to endure. So it said, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world, man. You don't want to be condemned with the world, man. You don't want to be part of the second death, the lack of fire, you know. And this world is evil, man, you know. Hey, let me get that John 7 7. Because what coming to this world is evil, man. Jacob Trouble. It said the world. Uh, I started six. I get straight to point. John 7, 7. The world cannot hate you, but me hate it because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil, man. So we live in an evil society, an evil world, man. Esau eat them, you know. It's an evil multiply, you know. Transgressor uh, multiply, man, you know. So, man, hey, we got to continue fearing the Lord, man. This is an evil world, man. You don't want to be part uh, of the evil that's coming to this world, man. Y'all about to shot, um... Bringing judgment to this place, man. You don't want to be condemned with the word, man. You know? So rejoice, man. It says, hey, uh, Acts 14 and 22. Through much tribulation shall you enter into the uh, kingdom of the Most High. You know? So, hey. Also in the same book, John 17. And let me read 9. John 17, 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the word, but for them which that has given me for they are dying, man. The elect. You don't know if you're part of the elect. That was to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Don't get too comfortable, man. Yeah, we at the end of this, man. You know? Because of prophecy, man, master the time diligent in itself. But don't get too comfortable, man. We still have a job to do, man. You, Hey, you won't know uh, uh, if you can make, if you, if you ain't, hey, Salaki, so like but you won't know until you're on the cherries, man. That when you can get comfortable, man. When you on the chariots of the most high, man. You know? I'm going to jump down to uh, 14. It said, uh, I had given them that word, and the word had hated them because they are not of the word, 
even as I am now of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Evil is coming to this place. Bad timing, man. Jacob trouble. Martial law. You know? Famine. Pestilence. And ultimately, thermonuclear missiles. Fire. It's coming to this place. Evil is coming, man. You don't want to be condemned with the word, man. You know? That's why I continue fearing the Lord. Make your calling less and sure. You know? And this whole chapter is going in how the Lord prayed for the elect. You know, back in now, I pray for them. I pray not for the word, man. The cut, hey, that's a cut on John three sixteen. If you if you still believe in that, that the Lord died for everybody, man. No, He died for the nation of Israel. You so called black, Hispanic, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And two thirds of you that refuse to fear the Lord, that refuse to come back to the Lord, you are gonna be part of the evil. You know, you gonna be part of the second death, the Lord judgment. You know, hey, it start with the elect. You know, uh, let me get that Galatians 1 and 4, man. It said, uh, I started three. Grace be to you and peace from the uh, most side, the Father, and from my Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, who gave himself for our sins, that he may deliver us from this present evil world, man. This time, man, he, he got to believe that the Lord prayed for you, man. And just come by and do it, man. Praying faster, man. You got to endure the chastening of the Lord, man. You got to endure the chastening now, the Lord at the end of the day. You know? Hey, let me get that, man. I'm going to come back to that. So what? Right, let me get so right, the second chapter. So what? Right, two. In this whole chapter, I'm going to start in one. My son, that come to serve the Lord, y'all about my shot. Prepare thyself for temptations. Temptation can come in any form, man. You get in the car after this. You becoming homeless. You know, I was just um, watching the uh, priest Daniela from um, Florida. His testimony, how he got um, burned up, you know. That's chastening of the Lord, man. But, but his hope is still full of uh, immortality, man. You know, fear the Lord, man. It says, uh, I'm going to jump down. For whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou change to a lower state. You know, so take it cheerfully, man. What's what they say? Um, if fourteen want you to have low patience, man, don't give up, man. The Lord chastening you, man. You know, and when the Lord continues to chasten you, hey, give him praise, man. Cause look at your good and evil at the end of the day. Say the water out by Shimon shot, man. Cause he dealing with you, with, uh, his sons. You know. But if you stop feeling the Lord, he, you gonna be part of the um, of the of, of the evil, man. You gonna be bugged out. He could take his Holy Spirit away from you, man. You know you don't want that to happen, man. Cause it said wisdom, knowledge should be the stability of that times. So back in Galatians one and four, who gave us of our sins that He may deliver us from the present evil world according to the will of the Most High and to our Father, man. You know this evil world, man, and evil is about to come here, man. You know. Hey, it said the first step. Let me get that, man. So, Rock 19. The Cleoticus also. So, like you. So, so, so Rock 19. Um, so, Rock 19 and 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaining his love. So, the Lord wants your fear first. You know? Love is an action word, man. What's good to say? You love me in the book of John. You love me, keep my commandments. You know? And you keeping his commandments showing you that you fear him, man. You obeying his voice. You obeying his words. You obeying his law, statute, commandments. You know? Say, so say, um, I'll jet down. I'll keep going. 19, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please them shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his uh, omnipotency. If I'm saying that right, it's like you, man. You know? So, hey, that's it, man. Let me get that Proverbs real quick, man. Proverbs, the first chapter. 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge. 
but fools despise wisdom and, and, and instruction, man. And they're two thirds of our people, man. They refuse to um, fear the Lord, man. Fear ye not me. He's just saying in the book of, um, what's that, um, Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, I believe. You know? That's the beginning of knowledge, man. To fear the Lord, man. You know? Hey, let me get that first Kings. This is Zappa, man. First Kings on um, 13. And this um, right here is about um, the Lord told him not to uh, not to eat, you know? About this prophet. First Kings, uh, I'm trying to get straight to the point. I started 16, you know. And he said, I may not return with the yeah, this it. Uh, yeah, he said, and he said, I might not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, that I shall eat no bread, no drink water there, nor turn again to go by the word, by, by the way that that's came. So this the Lord told his prophet on what to do. Commandment from the Lord, man. No, don't eat, nor drink. You know. He said unto him, I am a prophet also, is that art? And the angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee into thy house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he, but he lied unto him, man. So this guy lied unto him, saying he a prophet, man. But remember what the Lord said. You know, remember what the Lord told him to do, man. That's why scripture say, uh, uh, Walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know? Hey, do what the Lord told you to do, man. Fear the Lord, you know. Hey, whatever uh, guy come up to you saying, I'm a man of the Lord also, take the RFID microchip, man. You gonna do that? It's okay to take it after the Lord told you not to take it? You know, you stay for example, man. You know? So I'm gonna jump down to 25 it said and it came to pass after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk that he saddled for him the ass to with the prophet whom he had brought back and when he was gone a lion met him by the way and slew him and his carcasses was casting away and the ass stood by it the lion also stood by the carcasses man so the Lord sent a, a lion unto him man you know so the Lord sent a line to his prophet, man, for being disobedient. Hey, look at the uh, soul. He was rejected, man. You know? Hey, fear come with being a, um, uh, you got to listen to fear, man. You know? If you stop fearing, you're not going to, uh, you're going to stop listening, man. If you stop fearing somebody, uh, somebody, man. This ain't even the word, man. You know? You're going to stop showing respect if you stop fearing. You know? You're going to stop listening to that person and everything. You know, so the Lord sent a line to this uh, on this guy, man, for simple instruction, man, on what to do, man. Don't eat, no drink bread there, man. Drink water there. The Lord told him not to eat, and what he did, he ate. So the Lord, Lord sent an line onto this guy, man. You know, hey, twenty seven. When the prophet that brought him back from the way he heard of, he said, "It is the man of the most of the most high who was." Disobedient unto the word of the Lord, therefore the Lord had delivered him unto the lion, which had torn him and slain him according to the word of the Lord, which he spake unto him, man. You know, hey, you go with the Sirach 19 and uh, 24. He that has small understanding and fear of the Most High is better than one that had much wisdom and transgressed the law of the Most High, man. You know? You got to continue listening to and, and obeying the Lord's voice, man. You know, being obedient, man. You know? 144, you know? Also, let me get this, man. So, Rock 34. Let's close on this. Uh, I started 12. It said, I was off for times and dangers of death. I started 11. When I tra tra traveled, I saw many things, and I... Understand more than I can express. I was oft times in dangers of death, yet I was delivered because of these things. The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in Him that saved them, man. Fear the Lord, man. You know, continue fearing, man. Hey, the angels, Psalm 34 and 7. Uh, 14. Whoso fear the Lord should not fear, nor be afraid, for he is his hope. 
Blessed the soul soul of him that fear the Lord, to whom though he look and who is his strength. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him, which go with fear. He is the mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from the heat, and a cover from the sun and noon, a preservation for stumbling, and a help from falling. You know, he raises up the soul and lighten the eyes and give it health, life, and blessings, man. So we got to continue fearing the Lord, man. You know, you got to continue fearing the Lord, man. Don't uh, don't get too comfortable in this thing, man, you know. Continue uh, asking the Lord to humble you, man. Keep you disciplined, you know, much the brotherhood, you know, discipline in your everyday walk, you know, fearing the Lord, man, you know. Continue asking the Lord to put that on, uh, uh, asking the Lord for his strength to endure, you know. So with that, I hope you're ready to find once again. We'll give our praises on the glow to you. How about Shemal Shai, about Shemal Kakodash, that belongs to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach you well. And Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel with that. Shalom, come now, shalom, wa, ba, ba.